Alright lads, welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 and the Kaiser Redux mod as the Russian Republic, soon to be the Russian Empire, with the inverted Russian Empire flag. Um, I don't know what the meaning of that is, myself and uh, Juan Mateo are trying to figure it out. I know that there's definitely a, a cross and a candle in the middle, it looks like a candle. And though interesting, it's not a uh, an orthodox cross, you know, because the orthodox cross, you know, it has, you know, it has like the, the slanted bit of wood. Well, I'll, I'll say the slanted bit of wood, because, you know, if, you, if you're making an orthodox cross, you always put the... The slanted bit of wood on it. Um, but yeah, there's no slanted bit of wood on uh, on Drozdowski's flag, from what I can see. I mean, I don't believe so. I'm quickly check the, uh, the first video, but I don't remember any. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Definitely not. Though it's not quite, a, I suppose, yeah. It's, 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 it's not your regular cross either. And of course, I'm familiar with the, the candles, uh, the candles, the candles of, um, of the period leading up to Christmas and Advent and all of that, but I'm not quite sure. It's, I think it's a candle. I think it's supposed to be a candle. Um, yes, indeed. All right, then. Off we go. In 33 days, Kornlov shall seize power. And um, and soon after that, Drozdovsky shall seize power. Also, let us consult the results of the latest poll. And just shows you how much we've grown since the first channel. 677 subscribers, thank you very much for those. Ah, okay. Okay. A plurality of people figured it out. So, the question on the poll was, these were the first four series played on our first channel, which one was the very first? The options were Tino Rodzewski, Kaiser Ikesvinkov, Millennium Dawn Modern Day Putin, or Tino Wagner. Millennium Dawn Modern Day Putin is the correct answer. That is the first ever series that we ever played. Ever. Between both channels. It was the first series on the first channel. I believe we followed that up with The New Order Rodzewski. And after that, I think... Oh, I think it was Kaiser Reichsvinkov. And after that, we did Wagner, I believe. But yeah, Putin was the first series we ever played. It was it was a failed series, in fact. Because um, because George Bush never invaded Iraq. We never had the... Uh, Nova Russia popped up in like 2004 or something like that. And, but we, we were never able to support them uh, properly because we, we couldn't go after Ukraine because, again, we didn't have the world tension because George Bush never went after um, Iraq. George Bush? Yeah. I'm going to be establishing any um, supply chain in Irkutsk because we should be getting them peacefully soon enough. What are we working on? Economy under state control. Physical power plus 100. Modify the state. Do a plan by stability plus 4%. Uh, construction speed plus 15%. Production efficiency. Cap and growth plus 5%. Factory output plus 15%. We should increase the ability of our state. Of our state. Um, to intervene in the economy. Impose the prices. Bail out on profitable enterprises. And nationalize some vital ones in order to relaunch our industrial machine. Electronical mechanical engineering. Fantastic. Just get some mechanical computing. Ah. Uh, oh god. Something something sovereign Russia. And there was a and there was a sovereign Russia? So that the, once there was a sovereign Russia. That's it. That's it. Alright, ease the peasant burden. Gain base stability plus five percent. Modify the Duma plan by consumer goods factories plus five percent. Stability plus four percent. Weekly stability plus point two percent. And production efficiency cap and growth plus five percent each. With the Black Monday terrorizing our economy, the most unprotected social group is appeared to be the peasants, uh, who come who uh, came across the fall the falling prices for agricultural products. We plan to provide compensation to peasants who reduce the uh, acreage allowed to wheat, rye, barley, and other crops. Hmm. Oh, that was. It was 33 days already? Oh. Okay. Military coup d'etat. PSR was unable to secure its weak power across in Russia today. Several high um, military commanders under the leadership of Lavrov Kornilov uh, with help of Russian army have seized administrative buildings in large Russian cities. Kornilov shall save Holy Russia. So, a lot of people um, don't know, but Kornilov is actually st is, a, is a staunch Republican. Uh, and, and that's not just in the mod. He was also a staunch Republican in her own world. Of course, he did fight in the Imperial Army and that kind of stuff. Um, but yes, Kornlov is very much a staunch Republican. And then you've got basically the, the soft Republican in the shape of Denikin. Then you've got the soft monarchist in the shape of Markov. And then you've got the, the absolute monarchists or the hardcore monarchists in the shape of Wrangel as well as Drozdowski. Now...
First International Congress. Worker strike, uh, strike, strike in Petrograd. Metaxas is here. There he is with his hat. After the ROVS seized power proclaiming Kornlov as interim president, Petrograd workers began to strike against the military, demanding free elections and an increase in their standard of living. The first strike began with the, with the Putilov plant, but by noon the strike had engulfed all major industrial enterprises of the capital and gained mass character. The police horses were not enough to suppress the protest, and the next day the strike continued and other citizens who were dissatisfied with the seizure of power by the military joined the protest. The situation escalated and became sharply radicalized with a number of generals sympathetic to the proletariat sided with the rebels. While the uprising in Petrograd has not spread to uh, other regions with the effect of falling dominoes, we need to nip it in the bud, either by suppressing the uprising harshly or making concessions to the working class and, despite the crisis, meet their demands. We shall deal with the insurgency. Petrograd becomes a demilitarized zone. Guess about dealing with Petrograd uprising. Nice. That's the burden eased. Balance the budget. Yeah, so he looks quite young in, the, in his military portrait. It's funny because he's, you know, reasonably old in his uh, national portrait, I guess you could say. Alright, dealing with the Petrograd uprising. We have lost Petrograd. The workers' protest in the capital has been going on for several days. However, so far the rebellion looks fragmented and without clear leaders. Of those who were able to lead the crowd so far, not a single party has stood up for the workers. Nevertheless, there are several candidates whom Kornov suspects of becoming protest leaders. Firstly, there are these are some generals who had ties with the Reds during the civil conflict or who sympathize with the workers and peasants. The most notable are Alexander Yegorov, Boris Shapashnikov, and some others. We can arrest them immediately to ensure that they don't become leaders. However, this may not be enough as there are various as there are various public controllers parties. That would like to lead um, the protest. As far as I'm aware, if we don't arrest them, we get the the coup, right? I mean, I, I'll quickly try try to negotiate with the red generals. Uh, I, I believe I believe we can do that. We will get cooed. Or rather, the, the uprising will spread. Yeah. Oh, somebody look at that. Wait, Yegorov leads it now? Why was that changed? It used to be Zhukov. That's interesting. Is Zhukov already field marshal? He isn't. Oh, I'm just going to, to quickly uh, explore this just for a little while. One of the um, the things which I never really liked about the, the path is that Zhukov immediately gets up uh, gets more at the field marshal. And I never liked having Zhukov as field marshal. Um... I, like, like I, I preferred him to start as a general, and then perhaps I'll upgrade it, I'll promote him later, but I didn't like that he, uh, immediately went to, um, immediately went straight to Field Marshal. Is he, is he still not a Field Marshal? Oh, I've just been given command of Lavra Kornilov. Interesting. Ah, huh. anyway, we'll uh, reload that save. That's fine. It's just, you know, there, there's some really, um, you know, big names. Among the people that will... What the hell? That's a, that's definitely a French tank anyway. Yeah, surely. I think that's a mass... Oh, no, no, no. That's an SVT-40 for sure. What the hell? Is that a railway gun? What the hell is that? Yeah, yeah, that's definitely a railway gun. What am I saying? French tank. And that's an M2, I think. Bloody hell. Weird timeline. Yes, arrest the Red Generals. You know, it's just... We are losing some unfortunate... Uh, some unfortunate generals here. Uh, or rather... I don't believe uh, I, I don't believe we should lose uh, Leonid Gavrov though. Gavrov act was actually fought for the White Army first before he fought for the Red Army. So I wish that we'd uh, keep Gavrov. I know he was a marshal of the Soviet Union in our own timeline, but um, like I said, he fought for the Whites first. You know, Alexander Yegorov, I understand that. Kuznetsov, I understand. Um, I wish we ki we'd keep Vasilevsky. I really like Vasilevsky, and I really like Shaposnikov. You know, I could easily see Vasilevsky, Shaposnikov, Tutin. Um, fighting for the Russian Republic in in our own time, and though I I I, I can also easily see um, easily see Drozdovsky purging them as well. So maybe it's uh, not the fact that I'm losing them, but the fact that I'm losing them now is that I'm is what I'm annoyed about annoyed about. Semyon Gitler, Vasily Chukov, Georgi Zhukov. I'm, I'm glad they changed that. His old portrait was terrible. It was all faded and it was horrible. But yeah, we are losing thirteen generals. I'm sure, Zhukov Chukov is gone. Gitler is still here. But Chuakov is still here. That's okay. Hidden sympathies. I'm yeah. I was gonna say, why didn't we lose you? Okay, we we kept Zhukov and Chuakov. What else did we keep? We kept Batov. We kept Katakov. We kept Vatu. What the hell? We kept we kept all of them. What the hell is going on? God. 
Do I, did, did I click the same thing again? Oh, I'm stupid. I clicked the same thing twice. Ah, that's such a shame. Ah, there's the uh, Johnson M1941, Ireland's standard issue rifle, during the last playthrough. It's just ridiculous. Like. Cylindrical magazine, different caliber, different country. Yeah. That's a shame, because I really like some of those names. You know, yeah, rest of the Red Generals. Yeah. And now they're gone, I, I presume. Yeah, they're gone now. Yeah, we lost Gitler. I don't mind losing Gitler. We lost Tuakov, we lost Zhukov. Lost Katakov, lost Batov, lost... Ah, oh, they're all fucking gone. God damn it. I, I, I wanted to... I wish we'd keep Govorov, uh, Shaposhnikov, Vasilevsky, and Batutin. And take the rest. Dealing with Petrograd Uprising. Having arrested the Red Generals, we have cut the Petrograd workers off of uh, off the military support. However, there is still something we uh, should concern ourselves with. Along one of Kornlov's main concerns are left-wing social revolutionaries uh, who have intercepted the workers' agenda and are looking for opportunities to lead the revolution. In addition, they are one of the few parties that openly called for revolution. We can try to arrest the leaders of the left, uh, left SRs before they can lead the protest, but for this, we will most likely have to turn to the help of Savinkov's uh, combat detachments. Try to arrest left SRs with the NRPR help. I really like Shaposhnikov, and I really like Vasilevsky. Like, like, you can take Zhukov. You know, Zhukov served in the Imperial Army as well, you know? <laughs> Petrograd uprising crushed. Having revealed the plan of the traitor generals and arrested the leaders of the socialist opposition in time, we were able to stop their attempts to lead uh, the uprising and actually suppress the uprising in the bud. Despite thousands of demonstrations, federal troops um, brought into the city together with the police and the BONNPR. The BONNPR? Who are the BONNPR? That's clearly a... Uh, oh, the, the, the combat squads. Probably. The workers had to return to the factories and the general strike failed. Victory of the ROVS. 25% base stability. Petrograd is no longer demilitarized. Uh, Kornlov consolidates his rule. We balance the budget. Fantastic. With the completion of the first anti-crisis measures, it is necessary to balance the budget and distribute it more fairly between departments and institutions. Next year, in addition to economic reform, we also need to modernize the army and navy and also allocate money for social needs. Replace the Duma plan with the beginning of stabilization. Effective change, daily political power gain, um, minus 0 0.05. Consumer goods factories, minus 10%. Factory output plus 10% as well. Uh, which one? Which one of these popped up first? First Women's Division of Death. Uh, Maria Botchkareva, Colonel of the Russian Army and hero of the Veltkrieg and Russian Civil Conf Conflict, have recently uh, requested Govern to allow formation of the First Women Division by combining existing women's battalions of death, which would later serve as basis for formation of a women's corps. Accepting this proposal would surely boost strength of our army and not to forget significant propaganda value, but conservative elements in our armed forces unwilling to change the status quo, but have to be taken into consideration as well. Yeah, it was due to the February Revolution that that it was created. Yeah, no, I'm afraid not. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, this is an acceptable political purpose for me. It's a difference of 60 as well. Something tells me that's not going to be happening in Drozdovsky's empire. Also, it also wouldn't happen in Kornlov's Republic. Kornlov cons uh, consolidates his rule. It has been a while since ever Kornlov and his loyal military generals have seized power in Russia. Now it's time to reform the country and establish a new provisional government to satisfy our needs. Russia has only two friends, army and fleet. Gain base ability plus 10%, political power plus 100, changes the national tree to Russia underscore focus. So yeah, like we have, yeah. Claim Kornlov the Supreme Ruler. Hmm. Kornlov restores control. Lavra Kornlov and the Russian All-Military Union has taken over, have taken over Russia. Splendid. Now, disperse the history one, please. Pius the 12th is here. No, yeah, 12th. The AVS 36, that's fully automatic. <laughs> what is that? Tavria Okruna, you're a puppet. 
Ho, 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 look at that beard. The Denikin wrangled conflict. Vladimir Kornilov, quickly rising to power to become the leader of Russia, the split in the ROVS became even more serious. Two brilliant officers, Anton Den... I wouldn't be calling Denikin a brilliant officer. And Pyotr Wrangel were struggling to influence Lavra Kornilov and his politics. On the one hand, Anton Denikin, chief of army, is looking forward to becoming uh, Kornilov, Kornilov's right hand and either return to democracy or at least restore constitutional monarchy. On the other hand, there is Pyotr Wrangel, who is Kornilov's vice president in the ROVS and who seeks to restore absolute monarchy. Both generals have supporters and will try to become Kornilov's head of government. Kornilov anou anou announces alliance with Sevinkov. And that, and that gives us the... Uh, means we won't have that. We, he won't rise up as well. He won't do that at all. It won't be there. For, it wouldn't be there for long anyway, but it'll be handy. Kornilov announces alliance with Savinkov. You will side with Savinkov. Uh, this decision will cancel the Denikin Wrangel conflict. Gets about rumors of a monarchist plot in the military. Now, what can I do with this? Where's the create the thingy? Yeah, I'll do that. Rumors of a monarchist plot in the military following Kornilov's coup in the, of the decadent, a weak Republican government. Uh, Russia once more finds herself under the hand of the armed forces, while Kornilov and his supporters expected some kind of blowback from the population. We hardly expected something from within our own ranks, based on limited intelligence gathered by Kornilov loyalists. Uh, within monarchist circles, it appears that black hundredist officers centered around Mikhail Drozdovsky are plotting to, plotting to overthrow our government while it's still in its infancy. While we have little more than hearsay to back up these claims, many with access to this intelligence, a chief among them being Denikin, are calling on Kornlov to purge these officers to secure our position. While it would weaken our officer pool we, with enough men on their side, these monarchists could pose a real threat to our state. Uh, the choice, however, is Kornlov's alone to make. I love how if you just don't purge them, it, the coup just doesn't happen. So, like, it's not an actual thing that's happening, but somehow if you do decide to purge them, it is a thing that's happening because they're super prepared. It's, it's not very well written. Purge them better safe than sorry. Maxim Gorky dies. Russian writer Alexei uh, Maximovich uh, Peshkov, better known under his pen name Maxim Gorky, died today in Moscow at 68. A fellow traveler of the Red Sea experienced suppression of the Tsarist regime, but was quite doubtful during the October Revolution, thus avoiding reprisals uh, after the civil conflict. A rabid opponent of Kerensky publicly supported Bukharin as he narrowly followed his son in death. Many think that his sudden death could be due to the changing political atmosphere in Russia. Malta has joined the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Okay. I assure you, 68 is old age. Big gain based on was plus 1%. Now, let's read the, about the reinduce the uh, Akranoi. Old Delaney? Is, is, is that a T or an L? Oh, uh, yeah. Ot Delaney. Ot With revolutionary movements active throughout Russia, some members of the Duma are suggesting a complete reorganization of the internal police on the basis of the old Tsarist secret police, uh, Akranoi uh, Ot Delaney. This organization will hunt down any radical revolutionary movements and re-educate them to respect the Russian state. Apply the upgrade army detachment to your intelligence agency. Add a Kranka, which grants uh, a daily political power gain plus 0 0.05. Operative slots plus 1. Uh, Intel network strength gain factor plus 10%. Fantastic. Mm, sorry, sorry. Won't have to do that for long anyway, but it's fine. Now, recruit a head of intelligence. We will need to put someone in charge of our intelligence agency who can be an effective director. Add head of, in head of intelligence, which grants elusive gentleman operative slots plus one, agency upgrade time minus 15%. Check the recording, make sure all is well, indeed it is, fantastic. Drozdovsky's regiment makes its move, probably a full division by, by this stage. General Kornilov soon realized his folly, rashly acting on the rumors of a restorationist plot war broke out and the would-be conspirators sprung into action. Their intentions made manifest by necessity, led by Mikhail Drozdovsky, the group of his veterans, black hundredists and other white officers sympathetic to the royal cause, moved to secure government buildings and armories all around the capital. Okay, so no doubt Wrangel's men as well as uh, Markov's men. Uh, while Karnalovite forces tried to stop them at first, they were quickly overrun and what became an absolute bloodbath on the streets and inside various houses, loyalists, loyalists, regiments hidden, houses, and ha hiding entire regiments and houses, I assume they were big buildings. The whole situation lasted for roughly eight hours, after which Republican generals and senior officers were either arrested or shot, while ordinary soldiers were ordered to swear fealty to the new Supreme Commander. With the battle for the soul of Russia itself won by Drozdovsky, he can finally rouse the sleeping masses to save Holy Rus and make their noble ancestors proud. What's with all the fucking paratroopers? 
March the people of Russia for your salvation. Remove Denikin, Denikin Wrangle conflict, all of that stuff. Kornilov gets killed. Um, Kudpov changes sides. Uh, changes side from um, Kornilov's confederate to Drozdovsky's confederate. Drozdovsky is promoted to field marshal. Okay, you're, you're still... Uh, yeah, you're still going to be a general. Well, actually, I'm not going to use you at all because you're, you're running the state now. Wrangle can handle military matters. And we'll get uh, Nikonor v. Savage. And Vladimir N. Kovtsov. Hmm. Oh, here he is. We're looking much younger. It is a military portrait. White's on overtime. Rise of Drozdovsky. Treasonous generals had planned to betray the very idea of white movement. They were plagued with desire and had planned to establish a plutocratic oligarchy to continue torturing of land that is our motherland. Well, no more. <laughs> Settling our scores with the public controllists. Gets event arrest of Viktor Chernov, our mortal enemies. The public controllists are on the run. This time we won't repeat the mistake we made 17 years ago. Now all traitors will be shot. the Davinsk Autonomous Region. After regaining control of the Davinsk Region, known locally as Latgale, the Kerensky government established the Davinsk Autonomous Region to appease the local Latvian and Latgalian inhabitants. This autonomous region took the form of a local directly elected Congress. Oh, TG Masterwick is dead. Gad is opponent. That's PSH1. And Maxim Tokarev, Model 1924 and Diakonov. 40.5 millimeter. Of course, I don't know why we're researching, you know, 1918 equipment. Yeah, you know? well, I've never liked that. Now we will slightly turn this down. There we are. Uh, da -da -da -da. Where was I? Who were granted large discretion in dealing with local affairs throughout the post-conflict period. This has turned Latgale into a haven for Latvian culture. It is where their partisans of the United Baltic Duchy organize secret supply chains and recruit volunteers as well. Now that our government has taken control um, of the country and seeks to centralize the state of Moscow, an opportunity arises to dismantle this Latvian autonomy and put the Davinsk region under direct rule. On the other hand, perhaps we can swallow our pride and leave the Latvians be. After all, right now they are pretty complacent. Let me see the, the unique spirit. Established in 1922 with his regional autonomy for the self-governance of the Latvian and Latgalian population. Latvian culture pro uh, prospers here and serves an as an example to the free Latvian, free Russian movement that cooperation with Russia is the future of the Latvian nation. Yeah, that sounds good enough to me. We're going to keep the autonomous region and it'll allow us to, uh, even though the Balton Deutscher Orden is already here, it'll allow us to supply rebels within the, uh, the Orden. Keep the autonomous region, gain base ability minus 1%. Now let's get a spy. Who shall we? Look at ooh. Your Far Eastern nationality, Russian nat nationality, Don nationality, and Kuban nationality. My god. You're not German as well. Okay, that's literally just Medvedev, like. <laughs> Why? Uh... Yeah, let's get a Vladimir Grecian. And you can begin building an intel network in Ornberg. We got manpower? Yeah, we've definitely got manpower. What was it? Oh, that's cheesy. We get to keep the Colonel of Sheena. That's hilarious. Where is it? Oh, lad, that's so cheesy, man. Oh, that's pure cheese right there. Just pretend it says draws Dobshina. Pretend. Pretend. Arrest of Viktor Chernov. Lifelong party of socialist revolutionaries. Viktor Chernov was today arrested by draws divide soldiers and was, and was locked up in Kresty prison, awaiting his fate to the next one. Change of popularity of social democracy minus 5%. It gets him into arrest of Boris Savinkov. It's hilarious, man. We, got to, we get to keep the Colonel of Sheena. 
national affairs. Why is that though? There's, there should be a check to make sure that Cornlob is actually running the country. Like if you if you play the Far East and you um and you get Kazan Beck in power, you can do his entire effectively his entire focus tree before you do um ally the nationalisti. But like as soon as the nationalisti get in power, you lose most of the uh, focuses. So like there's no real point, you know. You, you don't you don't lose some of them though, and some of them gives you um, some of them give you factory so. Nikolai Trubetskoy publishes Principles of Geopolitics, uh, Principi uh, Geopolitiki, published in the late 1930s by Nikolai Trubetskoy, is now is now considered a cornerstone of modern geopolitics. In his book, the Russian conservative philosopher and politician envisions a new Russian empire, defined not by the Tsardom or religion, but rather by pragmatic control over the Eurasian continent. His ideas were further developed by Lev Gumilyov, thus creating the so-called Eurasian Doctrine. Okay, it, that's old lore, Lev Gumilyov. Lev Gumilyov is currently running the youth wing of the... Uh, of the national maximalists. Gained base ability plus 2%. Change the popularity of authoritarian democracy 5%. Arrest of Boris Savinkov. Savinkov, famous terrorist and revolutionary, was recognized today at the streets of Petrograd, walking out of one of his conspirative uh, apartments. He was beaten up and escorted to a prison. Change the popularity of national populism minus 10%. Gets him an arrest of Mensheviks. Smash liberalism. Ben Shapiro would be like. Gets him disbanding the. Uh, what's that? Govaralnya. The Gavrilnia. The very existence of the parliament with all these speeches and talks has nothing to do with the... With the... Has nothing, has nothing to do with uh, real politics to spend them, and they should spend their time more productively. Reforming the military and the navy. Recent military and... Well, the navy is in the military, I mean reforming the army and the navy. Recent military and navy exercises have led to one irrefutable conclusion. The Russian armed forces are a mess. Sweeping reforms are needed if we are to be taken seriously by our neighbours. Each of our top commanders has come up with a plan. Their proposals await your consultation. I will have a look. Again, paratroopers. I think it was Juan Mateo was pointing out that... I can't remember what series it was, but he was pointing... I think I was complaining about what picture was being used. And Juan Mateo was like, would you rather paratroopers? You know? Or maybe it wasn't Juan Mateo. I think it was Juan Mateo. Maybe it was Christian Kepley, I'm not quite sure. Arrest of Mensheviks. Despite the fact that Mensheviks don't call for workers' revolution right away and their low support leaves them dangerous for us, we still carpet ban them as every other public controllists. No one can hear them scream. Change the popularity of social democracy minus 3%. Gets event arrest of Maria Spiridonova. Another Keita Denikin. Scam to meet you, Medvedev owner. Now reform of the Russian language, the reform of the Russian spelling, firstly attempted by the Soviet government, has been cancelled soon after the Velkrieg by the government of Kerensky. This decision has, has led to a situation where part of our citizens use the old written language, especially intellectuals, uh, academics and nobles. The majority, however, use the reformed writing considered illiterate and uh, demotic by the ruling class. However, the reform has been planned since the early 1900s. This will help to establish the single written language all over the country and get rid of the remnants of the mass illiteracy. I don't know why you wouldn't. Um, I don't know. I don't remember there being anything for not doing it. We shall implement the reform. Political power plus 50. No, to be fair, Jostovsky probably wouldn't. No. Now, disbanding the Gavril, Gavrilnia. At about 5 o'clock in the morning of the Draws device, officers only Manstein and... Uh, Manstein? Man, man, yeah, Manstein. And several of the people were in the palace. Guards commander again turned to Manstein. The soldiers are tired and there is no end in sight. What if we stop this chatter? Manstein thought a bit and waved his hand. Stop it and tomorrow we'll figure it out. Guards commander entered the hall through the left side entrance, slowly went up to the presidium, walked around the table behind and touched Milyukov on the shoulder. Loudly to the whole room in an unobjectionable tone, he said. The guard is tired. I ask you to stop the meeting and go home. Milyukov muttered something in confusion. The deputies began to make their way to the exit. Nobody, nobody even asked if there would be a next meeting. What a farce. Okay, plus power plus 50 gain. Base ability plus 10%. Splendid. Rest of Maria Spiridonova. Spiridonova didn't surrender without a fight. A shootout um, broke up between draws to white soldiers and left SR's militants. Um, a lot of civilians got wounded and killed in the process as both sides shoot anything that moves in their eyesight. God, the fucking grammar is terrible. No negotiations with the terrorists. Change of popularity. Cynicism minus 3%. Gets event Nikolai Bukharin escaped. I'm not reading this. This, is, this would be a news event or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, draws Dov Sheena. Pretend that's what it says. Now, shut down opposition newspapers. 
A well-made propaganda can destroy the whole nation. We know it like no one else. Nikolai Bukharin escaped. Lenin's friend and now leader of the Reds. Nikolai Bukharin was ahead of us and before the wave of arrest started, escaped to Finland using Red secret agent nets. He probably won't stay in Finland long and will run as far as he can. He can advocate for Redism elsewhere now. Change the popularity of radical public controlism. Minus 3% gets him in total ban on public controlist parties. Attack an oppositional newspaper. A series of attacks woke up the major cities. Draws the white soldiers were burning publishings, throwing out people in papers. Uh, in some places like NSP or left SR's publishings uh, where they print their propaganda, there were shootouts with casualties, but in the end, hundreds of newspapers that were considered oppositional ended up being shut down. Sick of that red propaganda. Political power minus 50, gained plus 5% base stability. Sorry, turn up the news. Finland has requested grain. Oh, the Lapu movement is here. Glorious. Uh, the Finnish have approached us, to, uh, approached us so as to procure grain shipments. As their old grain supplier, the Kingdom of Ukraine, is no longer a viable option for the fledgling nation. While it is true that we possess an abundance of grain, the question of whether or not we can even, we even wish to assist the Finns is still one that we must ask ourselves. No. The cost outweigh the benefits. We shall decline. We, we get absolutely nothing from doing so. Fiscal purpose 25. Gets when the Russian Democratic Federative Republic has declined. Total ban on public controllers parties with the latest decree of Drozdovsky's junta. All public controllers, the revolutionary or not parties, are banned for, from participating in any kind of politics. Local and all Russian governments, their newspapers must be shut down. And public meetings or every expression of anti-Russian red ideology are prohibited. A finishing touch, change in, pop, a change in popularity of eternal autocracy, 10%. Uh, the capital, either Russia's historical capitals, could become the home of our government. Where should we go? Uh... I mean, if we were going for, a, if this was a proper monarchy, monarchy run, like I would pick Petrograd, but because it, we're doing, it is very much a new monarchy with the whole total economic, you know, that that's a feckin' PPS forty three right there, all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll go Moscow. I'm plus Moscow. Just, it, it's better in some ways, worse in others. Mostly better though. Now the Great Regency gets in the Great Regency. Grand Princes Kirill Vladimirovich and Dmitry Pavlovich have no legitimacy to the to be the new Tsar. They are both they both are traitors of the crown. Kirill betrayed uh, Nikolai II in the March when he sided with the Parliament, and Dmitry dared to plot behind these Tsar's back until we figure out what Romanov is the best to be, to be the new emperor. General Drozdovsky will be proclaimed to be a regent, the ruler of Russia. Now there we are. That's three. As soon as we have enough influence. In here, we, we will prepare a collaboration government. Now to save the Holy Rus. Get them in to save the Holy Rus. We aren't the only monarchist government in Russia. There are numerous monarchist organizations and parties, but alas, they are all divided and have no will to unite against threats that come from all sides on us. Perhaps we could approach... Uh, the largest monarchist movements and suggest them emerge. Good lord, man. The grammar. The Great Regency. There will be no Russia without a czar. Without the monarchy, every regime rapidly descends into a mess that is Russian Republic was until now. Anarchy, lawlessness, rootlessness, atheism. All that shame is washed off of Russia right now as we proclaim the restoration of the Russian Empire. But the question of the czar remains. And until the better times, General Drozdovsky will play the role of a regent, accepting the title of ruler of Russia. Sim, uh, Pobedishi. I'm not familiar. I'm not familiar with that. I've never come across that before. Political Purpose 50, add a Regency Council, a council which grants Head of Government, Paternal Autocrat, Silent Workhorse, Daily Political Power Gain plus 0 0.07, Resource Gain Efficiency plus 14%. That's not on my arm. Uh, the Russian Democratic Federative Republic will be known as the Russian Empire. Ho-ho, new flag. Upside down Romanov flag. With nice cross and candle. Might as well use. Uh, I won't use it on you because you're busy running the country. Look to wrangle. Yeah, he, he, he won't be here for long. Uh, Shatilov! Uh, no, won't be giving you that. Romanovsky. You're Denikin's click, aren't you? Yeah, then we'll be giving it to you then. Turkle! Actually, I don't think. Baldurev, you should be sticking around. You already have the infantry, infantry. Yeah, infantry expert, that's good. Your Kornlovs can. How are you? Yeah, he'll be dead soon enough. Uh, you. Yeah, you. You. You flip. That's fine. Do the infantry expert. You will be dead. Your. You. Give you. Give you fortress of Boston. Pavel Bromont Avalov. Fucking collaborator. Not the way. 
Tarkovsky. <clears throat> to save the Holy Roos, Vladimir walks from corner to corner for a long time. Then he sits down, then he lights a cigarette, and finally says, Mikhail Gordeevich, and that's, he's talking to Drozovsky, Gordeevich is his patronymic. Throw them away at whom? These politicians, they only interfere. If not for them, we would have already got everything done. Are you against the monarchists? He was embarrassed and silent. Against the monarchists, but for a czar. For a czar, I'm not for anyone. I'm not involved in politics. I'm a soldier. I will never recognize the breast piece and will never take off my pallets. I don't give a damn about the rest. He gets angry, feels that he is wrong and something, but he can't comprehend uh, what um, his mistakes are. Ah, Velodia, Velodia, it's good to be a colonel to ride a horse to dine at cubes and look after the ladies in the city. It is also good to shoot down the Hungarian cavalry from a trench, but it is bad to, to be not even white, but just a bandit. Fight workers in the streets without the czar on the throne and in the head. Is this what we are fighting for? I only know for sure that constant speech is squabbled and again speeches won't lead us anywhere. Your nobleness, then he stands silent. The most difficult thing here is that he's not wrong. But we need unity called the monarchists. Uh, we need strength and we need it now. Cheer up our soldiers. Okay, so this leads the two paths. Um, you know, we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven unique focuses if you take the rightmost path. Good luck to coalition. Um... I'm going to pop a save here. I will absolutely not be doing two playthroughs of this, you know, one being, you know, this path, one being that path. But I will absolutely just pop a save and in a short video just explore the leftmost tree just to see what it's about, you know. We need strength and we need it now. Cheer up our soldiers. Ah, here we are. We can prepare a collaboration government. Commence when ready. Let us get Dmitry Medvedev and uh, Isayev. And off you go. Actually, we we'll need to expand a couple of units. Mirna! We'll do the tanks. Внимание! Hopefully that'll get us part of the way towards making it up. That's good. Currently in preparation. That's fine. We have the equipment as well. Glorious. Now oh, the Draws Device rule alone. Get the Draws Device rule alone. Screw the rest. Screw all of these fat and sweaty bastards that dare to call themselves patriots and czarists. Now we will show how to restore Russian glory properly. That's right. Big economy. Big strong. Big Derzava. Massive conquest. New lands. All that good stuff. One big mighty fucking Durzava from fucking Prague to Sakhalin. I could have said Kamchatka, but we already have that, you know. From Prague to uh, Port Arthur. That works better. You're taking 14 civilian factories off me for. for that, that one operation. That's ridiculous, man. Draws divides rule alone. The uh, the streets lie silent for now, but anyone can say that there was something that coming. F uh, but anyone can say that there was something that coming for us. Good Lord, man! Everyone talks about it. Everyone feels it's in the air. Soldiers of Drozdovsky's regiments are staying on the crossroads, watching the crowds holding rifles in their rifles. You can see their hands tremble with tense. Lad, what the fuck? Look at this grammar, man. It's so bad. If there was a rifle on a, on a scene, it must it, it absolutely must shoot during a play. Lock and load. Gets Vendelikin and his clicker purged. Yeah, I mean, obviously. He's a, he's a soft Republican. Like, I know it says here that... So, where is it? Oh, he's down here, of course. Yeah. Vendelikin's Confederate. Republic or Constitutional Monarchy. That's not good enough. Can't do that yet. We'll do the military tree. Army modernization. Uh, gain base ability plus 7.5%. Army experience plus 50. Gets men choosing the army or form plan. No matter what plan we rely on, we have to modernize not only our tactics, but indeed our very rifles and general equipment. Jenikin and his clique are purged. We can't trust Jenikin. He saw his intentions um, during the conflict with the, with the Reds. We don't need that lousy and sneaky bastard who easily accepts the false republic and forgets his oath. There was no room for turncoats in our empire. By the way, we have three purge events here. We have to do at least two. Uh, if we if we do only one, um, Trostovsky gets cooed. There was no room for turncoats in our empire, so we get rid of Denikin, Romanovsky, and Dragomirov. Now, 
Black Monday recovery. The reforms that we made are enough for our country to recover from the Black Monday, even if some issues are still affecting our economy, they will soon completely disappear. It is now, as now it is time for the government to improve our economy and make our market a high demand of the International Economic Society. Let us hope this continues to gain base stability plus 6%, or replace the beginning of stabilisation with further stabilisation, construction speed plus 5%, uh, as well as 5% for production efficiency, capital growth, and plus 10% factory output. Fantastic. Now, choosing the army reform plan. Our military now is not in a good condition. It has not been reformed for a long time since the Weltkrieg. And now, not only here we have we divided military staff, but there was a huge, uh, a huge lack of equipment. Field Marshal Denikin is popular with the politicians and most of our officer corps. Uh, to go through with his plans for the army would be an easy affair. He suggests that Russia should rely on our huge numbers to win any future conflicts, but also insists that a motorization of our forces as necessary, Wrangle, uh, while not as widely respected as Denikin, BULLSHIT, is still popular with some parts of the military. He believes in discipline and has respected far and wide for his administrative abilities with extensive planning and a general motorization. He believes he can make the Russian army the greatest in the world. Shatilov is a veteran from both the front lines and the staff quarters. While not the first choice of the military command, he does have a circle of close allies. Isn't Shatilov in Wrangle's camp? You know? Who all advocate theories of overwhelming, um... Firepower hammering enemy positions with artillery before attacking. Uh, additionally, more in, uh, initiative and responsibility needs to be given to the officer at the front line. And finally, no one doubts the talents of Markov put to display in every conflict since the Russo-Japanese one. During the Weltkrieg, he was a close assistant to Denikin. However, his ideas are foreign to many of the general staff of Russia. And it might take some persuading to get everyone on board with his plans about doctrine of quick conflict Russian tank armies. Swift strikes through enemy lines. Now, that used to be... Or maybe it's in the, the focus. Let me, let me see. Yeah, yeah. Still Russian tank army. Swift strikes through enemy lines. What a thought. We are, of course, going to go for Wrangle. Russian Empire completes uh, focus or form of the army. Wrangle's plan. And that gives me infrastructure construction bonuses. <laughs> nice. And railway construction bonuses. That's what I'm talking about. No, I suppose we'll do um, we'll do one of these right here. National Planning School Markov and his clicker purge. You underestimate you underest yeah underestimate us, General Markov. That's were the words Drozdovsky said to him when this staunch Republican. He's not a staunch Republican. Wind out the large amount of czarist soldiers and officers among the ranks of the volunteer army back in the time of the civil conflict. Is that true? Is that is that just made up? Now this is the time we can show them the true meaning of our words. Yeah, I, I think that's completely made up. What harm can this petty clique do? Corn lawvites are purged. I'm surprised they haven't been purged a long time ago. We cooed them. You know? What the hell? Colonel Lavites are purged. Colonel Lavites remain loyal to the usurper, and most of them are Republicans. We can't let them just uh, we can't let them just command the Imperial Army, where they can organize plots and conspiracies against us. They will give them a chance to prove their loyalty from the step. We give them from, to the Mongolian Khanate. No, we will not tolerate the lackeys of a traitor. So we get rid of uh, Zhensev, Levitov, and Skoblin. Who is Skoblin? This one. Bye bye. Uh, there we are. Week after wind has cleared the uh, has cleaned the evidences, the footprints, shovel marks, rifles, cases, those who were left alive or escaped hid uh, hide in their dark caves, waiting for what we do next. Our rule is secured, and now we must roll up our sleeves and reform Russia according to our needs. We need to be prepared for a total conflict of revenge. Rifle barrels cool off. The purpose 50, the National Populist Party will now be called the National Stabilization Regime. Change in popularity of national populism, 30%. Politics will change, the National Stabilization Regime will become um, the ruling party. Public elections will not be held. There we are. 
a look. No, we're not in the coalition. That's stupid. Why don't we have two of these? Interesting. National Planning School um, and National Planning School, which grants supply consumption minus 5%, planning speed plus 25%, max planning plus 25%, land option cost minus 10%, uh, modified divided military staff by division training time minus 3%, recruitment population factor plus 5%, division recovery rate plus 3%, surrender limit plus 2.5%, conflict support plus 2%. Frankel believes that Russia doesn't need to rely on wasting lives at the front line. If our officers receive proper training and stick to our closely monitored battle, plan, battle plans, new officer school designed to train young officers on how to follow these plans should be set up. Indeed. Probably go straight for this to be honest. Military infrastructure. Yeah, I will. Just to get that construction speed early. Modify now military infrastructure. Modify national planning school by infrastructure construction speed plus thirty percent. Supply hub construction speed plus twelve percent. Railway construction speed plus fifteen percent. Add technology, logistics, and maintenance company one. Uh, modified divided military staff by division training time minus two percent. Uh, divi uh, recruitment population factor plus three percent. Division recovery rate plus two percent. Surrender limit plus two and a half percent. Conflict support plus three percent. Wrangles plan requires large amounts of preparation, including setting up important supply points at key locations. Railroads and highways must stretch from end to end of Russia. Oh, not highways. <laughs> highways from uh, a highway from Magadan to uh, Moscow does not sound good at all. No, please just let it be real. Please, for the love of God. For all the damned souls of the Americans. <laughs> please. The tormented souls of America. Please let it be real. How many guns do we field in our army? Okay, 2,660. That's not bad. Foreign policy. As the situation in Russia has been stable uh, for a while, the new government has announced the Minsk Treaty dead. The notorious shameful piece of paper, originally signed by the Reds and again by the irresponsible Kretsky, has been limiting our country's national ambitions for 20 years. It's now time to announce our ambitions. Oh, wow, it's a bit early. Finally, you can now go down the foreign policy tree. Glorious. As soon as we have this finished, we'll get rid of the Minsk Treaty. Go straight up to partial mobilization. And free trade. How is that operation going? Progress, good. I hope this is actually worth me getting because the Turk Center public might go straight after him, actually. You know that I think about it. I think a dude off should be able to hold his own. Why do you hate it so much? No, we hate you. Fair enough. Now you should be able to hold your own. Almighty Don Holst with uh, Bogievsky. Yeah, he's older though. He's older. Fantastic. Right here in Orsk. Now let's go over here. Renounce the Treaty of Minsk. Where is it? It's over here. Oh no, it's rearmament program first. Don't we? Oh no, it's here. Oh. Huh. That used to be the, the that, that used to be the first thing. Oh, that shit! Oh no no no! We can change our mobilization and conscription laws. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Though I wish those two things were separate because I'd rather get this later on. Gains rearmament program, which grants consumer goods factories minus five percent, factory output plus ten percent, military factory construction speed plus seven percent for a full year. We'll be able to change our mobilization and conscription laws. World tension is increased by three. Oh, you bet it is. It's all about to be gravy. Partial mob. Bam. Export focus. Should we go for something else? Perhaps this. Army high command focus artillery. Army experience gain plus 0 0.06 daily. Artillery attack and defense. Artillery, artillery attack plus 10%. Artillery defense plus 5%. 
Army High Command's focus logistics. Army experience gain plus 0 0.09 daily. And daily, uh, division attrition minus 8%. Yeah, we'll go for that. Nice. That's later on. That's fine. So now the Treaty of Minsk should just be giving us less stuff to be here. Yeah. Can't join. Can't declare conflicts. And oh, okay, we can't declare conflicts. Okay, yeah. Never mind. We get, need to get rid of that now. Expansionism, of course. What else would it ever be? Guess event. Choosing the name for our faction. Gain base ability plus 10%. By taking expansionism, you will have more aggressive options and events, focuses, and decisions at the cost of increasing world tension and angry countries around you. <laughs> Lol. Poor Russia. I don't give a fuck. The theory of expansionism constitutes that Russia's borders are only as safe as they are distant from our heartland. Every neighboring state which is not a puppet of the Russian state is as such a threat or a target. Depending on their military and political strength, needless to say, this adaptation of policies will not be well liked by the rest of the conflict. Or the rest of the world, rather. Vasily Cannon dies. The Admiral? Russian Admiral Vasily Cannon, who was the commander of the Baltic Fleet and also the commander of the Black Sea Fleet during the Russian Civil Conflict, has passed away at the age of 73. Everything he did for the Russian fleet and the victory of anti-red forces will never be forgotten. Oh, damn. Are we actually going to lose him? I don't think we are going to lose him. Again, basically the minus one percent. Yeah, he's still here. <laughs> That's stupid. Oh, so we've been given a ton of new admirals. Look at Mana, um, Manas Manasturiev. Manasturiev. Yeah, he's been given a sick new mustache. That's a fucked up portrait. Also, Di why is Dybenko here? He's he's even in a Soviet uniform. He should not be here. Yeah, he's the silly cannon is dead, but he's still here. A level four admiral. That's okay, okay. Oh yeah, we just got a lot of factory over there. Can't build up here. No, that's a shame. That is all fine. Actually, you know, we should have uh, we should have troops on the border against Nuremberg, Cossack coast. Only the best of the best, though. Damn, okay, we have to bring some of those men back. Готов. 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 Я готов. 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 Готов выдвигаться. Жду приказа. Брось! Слушаю! Жду приказа! So who do we even have as Marshal now? Yeah, just buzzed off steam. Bull driver's still here, which is cool. Of the Second Texan Republic. Слушаю. Probably won't even have enough troops for the entire border. Yeah, we don't. We probably don't really need to either. Well. Religious art a uh, religious art exhibition with a government that finally is treating the faith of the Russian people with the respect that it deserves. An almost innumerable amount of programs dedicated to revitalizing that faith has sprung up. One such program is the National Ex Exhibition of Religious Art, displaying such works as Andrei Rublev's famous Hospitality of Abraham and several glorious depictions of Christ. Um, 
Pantocrator. While all in all a small and modest affair, this state is sponsored showing of Holy Russia's most glorious icons. Uh, seems to have already triggered the desired effect in the day since the exhibition's opening more and more churches are beginning to be packed to the brim bring the salvation of the Russian people just a little closer a testament to Russian filmmaking very nice that's definitely a new event I want to say new I've never gotten it before choose the name for a faction there were very suggestions of the Zars Guards Infantry Division. Nice. Oh damn, we're ready to rush over What was that? Did we finish our operation? Yes, we did. Fantastic. Oh, the next Oh yes, get this upgrade. Psychological like Warfare, Compliance Growth Speed is 25%, Damage to Garrison is minus 25%. Oh, Second Americans of a Conflict. Alexander Kolchak murdered in Transamar, the leader of the 1925 coup. Rogue Admiral Alexander Kolchak was recently killed by his own soldiers during a military coup in his beloved Transamar state. Man of great ambitions, he had contested our rights to rule the Russian Republic until his last breath. With his death, our side our side becomes a bit more pacified. So the pastor has got an excellent because the purple is twenty fantastic. Yeah. Uh, that's fine. Army command focus, army focus offense, army offense. Uh, army experience gate plus point zero six daily, division attack plus five percent.
hostilities equals 5%. Unlike the decision to attack the Orenburg Cossack host, unlike the decision to fade up Turkestan, unlike the Caucasus region, there is no German interest in these Central Asian provinces. We should be able to grab them without much opposition from the great powers. Yeah. If the Ottomans can conquer Iran, they should be able to try and do a Turkic thing in Central Asia, maybe join the Germans if you try to if you try to uh, secure Central Asia. You'd have to do it very late, though, for it to work. Drop the battle plan. Yeah, that's interesting. Like, both the paternal autocrats and the national populists are called Klicka Jostov Skogo, but it's only the national populists' uh, popularity that that's actually being counted. Are we getting so many damn factories? We get, okay, we're get, only getting four for trade. That's interesting. Okay. The Countess's Gambit. Countess Nina uh, Podgorosani Petrovich has long enjoyed the spotlight and adoration of the Russian public for her enticing and tantalizing poems and translations of foreign folk tales and novels, a darling of the Russian socialite scene. Countess Nina has long caught the eye of the masses. With both her literary skill and her witty charm, and in her long career, the Countess has earned many honours and drawn the attention of the masses many times. However, it seems this now matured aristocrat has not done drawing our attention quite yet. An intense and grueling tournament for the National uh, Chess Championships currently being held in Irkutsk. Nina has been pitted against great odds once more she faces... Oh damn, Collins has announced it. The end of an hour uh, As she faces some of the best strategists and, and tacticians in the Empire, after hours of fierce competition against the likes of other chess masters such as Peter Romanovsky, Nikolai Ryuman, uh, Victor... Uh, Go for the Slayer of Commissars. In the artillery, we should have enough artillery. Yeah, by well, the skin of our teeth. Great sound, but you know, it is the end of the episode. Mark all will go in with a good number of men. But alright, let's hope you enjoyed this first episode. We, we progressed more than a year. Um, we got. What did we get done? Yeah, we got this done. We got. Um, we got bits here done. We got. Oh, I'm sorry, too. And we got bits here done as well. We got, we got a bit of everything done. And we got that done as well. 
hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please consider liking, subscribing, and commenting down below. I shall see you in the next episode where we shall go after the Orenbar Cossack host and continue spreading our tendrils throughout Central Asia, as well as getting uh, Manstein and Turkey on board. Well, they are, they are on board, but we'll be hearing about them. I shall see you then. Uh, this is a bit of awkward because I'm saving the game. But now I'm going. There we are. Cool. See you next time.